Hi there, this is Nikki Rowland for Just Nick and today I am designing a layout using the Leafy Background 2 cut file. Um, I've cut it in white cardstock and I'm uh, going to go ahead and backfill with a piece of Paige Evans Turn the Page paper. It's a really beautiful um, ombre effect uh, paper. Uh, it's light at the top and gets darker towards the bottom. I do only have off cuts left unfortunately so I'm having to be careful about the way I fill my leaves. Uh, for this layout I was asked to create a fall or autumn themed layout. Um, now autumn is really not my thing. I don't generally get on with autumn colours because I usually I can't stand brown um, and uh, that's what autumn conjures up to me is uh, brown leaves. Um, however, I em obviously embrace the challenge because I love a challenge um, and uh, I went looking through my stash for bits and pieces that I could use that would be autumn themed um, but not brown. Um, and uh, I came up with this piece of paper by Paige Evans um, and uh, basically I've gone for gold because gold autumn is gold, golden in my eyes as well. Um, so um, I'm substituting anything brown for gold. Um, so uh, that's why I've gone for this paper, which is a really beautiful kind of yellowy golden paper uh, with a floral print on it. Um, and say so it goes from light to dark. So I'm carefully, painstakingly cutting out all these leaves. There's an awful lot of them on this cut file. I'm doing it by hand. Silly me, I should have done it on the machine. Um, but I'm doing it by hand um, for my sins. And um, I'm just trying to be careful where I place them onto my cut file. So I need the lightish ones at the top and the darker ones towards the bottom and uh, medium tones in between. So now that all of my leaves are cut out, I'm now taking them off of my cut file um, so that I can attach them uh, with glue and the right way around as well. Um, so uh, I've taken them all off there and I've put them in piles of light ones, medium ones and dark ones. And I've just uh, turned the cut file over so that I'm um, looking at the back of the cut file and I'm using a fine tipped PVA glue applicator um, to apply glue to the leaves and then I'm just pressing the leaves in place there. So now that my cut file is completely backfilled with that really beautiful paper, um, I'm now going to start creating the rest of the layout. So I've chosen a background piece again by Paige Evans. It's another autumnal has a real a paper that has a real autumnal feel to it, um, and uh, I'm just um, I'm going to use that as my outline. And uh, I've cut my background white cardstock down to I think it's 11 inches by. 11 and a half and uh, my white background seemed a little bit too white so I have used the packaging technique and the Heidi uh, swap colour shine in gold to apply some colour to my background sheet so I've literally just pressed that onto the background um, to give my background a little bit of, uh, of gold shine to shine up through those leaves. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to put foam pads all over the back of my leaves and get those stuck in place uh, directly onto that piece of white cardstock and that white cardstock will be mounted onto that beautiful autumnal paper uh, by Paige Evans Turn the Page. Okay so that's all my leaves um, in place now and uh, just getting my white cardstock stuck down to that beautiful paper and that is the background of my layout complete. So now I can start to add in the photographs and the other bits and pieces uh, that will complete the layout. So I've gone through my stash and I've pulled out anything that I can find that is autumnal um, and uh, I've pulled out anything that's gold, wooden um, and floral. Uh, I've also picked out a white heart shaped doily that's behind the bottom left photo um, and I'm just playing around with everything here and getting it in place. I've tucked some flowers ephemera under my right hand photo. I've pulled out one of those lovely decorated paper clips um, to go in the middle cluster there and I have found a wood chip at the top that says wonderful um, and uh, yeah just pulling out anything in those kind of uh, goldy yellow toned colours um, that will make my layout have an autumnal feel. Uh, because wood things, wood chips, um, conjure up all terminal feel to me, um, I went through to find out what wood veneer pieces I had that I could use on my layout. Uh, in the end, I don't think I decided to use any apart from the uh, big banner type thing at the top. Um, I've uh, also realised halfway through this layout that I had a 6x6 paper pad that was an autumnal 
feel. It's called Golden Days by Fancy Pants. It was last year's. Um, uh, and it sat there unused, of course, because I don't really do autumn things. Um, and uh, uh, they were perfect to mount behind my photos uh, to um, some wood grain there, you see, and uh, the other little gold coloured one under the other photo, which says fall. Um, so uh, they were ideal as photo layers behind my photo. So now I'm pretty happy with the feel of my layout, so I'm just getting everything finalised and stuck in place. Um, I'm mostly using my tape gun to get things stuck down, um, but occasionally I'll use some glossy accents if something uh, really needs to um, make sure it stays fast. Um, yeah, so just getting everything stuck in place, giving my layout lots of dimension, using foam pads wherever I can because I do like my layouts to have uh, lots of dimension and interest. Um, I've just found some gold glitter stickers there, so I'm just tucking those in where I can. Um, gives the layout a bit of shine and sparkle as well. Um, and um, I've got some really lovely um, transparent stickers uh, that came in the Page Evans collection, Turn the Page. So I'm just going through and adding a few of those uh, to places that I can. Um, and I've also got some really lovely puffy flower stickers that's also came with that collection. Um, oh, and an acorn there. Um, I've got to get the token acorn in, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going through and adding in some smaller embellishments, little bits and pieces where I can. Um, one of the other papers in the Turn the Page collection had these lovely, this that paper there, um, had these lovely uh, yellowy gold uh, toned flowers on. So I'm fussy cutting a few of those to accent the leafy background. The leafy background has got little flowers on it. Um, so I'm just going to use those as a place to put these lovely fussy cut golden flowers on too. So once those flowers are in place, of course I raise them up on foam pads because I like to have lots of dimension on my layouts. Um, that is my layout complete. Um, thank you so very, very much for joining me today. Um, uh, taking on a layout that isn't in my comfort zone, you know, a fall or autumn themed layout, uh, really not my thing. So, um, I, but I absolutely love the results. So it just proves uh, that sometimes you have to go out of your comfort zone uh, to um, create something that's really lovely and you're proud of. So I really and proud of this layout um, and I'm glad that I did it. So thank you so much for watching. That was Nikki Rowland for Just Nick.